What's up everybody, it's Wick here. Just want to make a quick video, uh, letting people know it's a good time to find stuff to source. Christmas has just ended. Um, little tip I want to give is check the apps let go, um, offer up, apps like that. People are getting Christmas gifts they don't want and they will just post them on there brand new. They just want some money for them. They want to get rid of them. They don't want to take them back to the store. They don't want to go to the family member and be like, hey, you got a receipt for this? I don't want this garbage. But, um, yeah, people will get rid of stuff, so there should be a flood over the next week or two, week or two of just new stuff hitting locally. Craigslist, too, of course. But I seem to do better on the apps. It's easier to find stuff. Craigslist is always larger cities and then you gotta filter through it's like I don't wanna drive 45 minutes to get this um, but yeah let go and offer up both really good apps I've made some money this year from that um, also clearance stores will be clearancing off stuff that they had for Christmas that didn't sell a lot of toys um, you know, the price of toys are gonna drop though so if you're buying toys be careful don't get too deep in them and just if you have the space just save them until next year you can you can do really well doing that I know a lot of people don't have the space and the money to just drop a few thousand dollars and just have it sitting and waiting but if you think of it as an investment um, you can definitely get a good return doing that also Christmas lights the Christmas inflatables I always try to get those 75% off they sell every year Every, every one I've tried to sell sells for like, well it depends on each one, but I've gotten $150, $200 on some of these inflatables that normally sell for, you know, 100 at the stores. I'm getting them for $25. Bucks. Um, so Christmas stuff, don't get some of the Christmas decorations, they're just not good, but some of the high-end Christmas lights that are like $30, $40, you can even sell those throughout the year. But um, I'm pretty picky when I buy my Christmas clearance. Uh, it's stuff that I'm going to be holding for a year. I want to make sure I get a good return on it. And it's popular enough. And also Amazon's been uh, restricting some of my Christmas lights. Not restricting them. They've been pulling them because of some certification. It's actually starting to rain pretty hard out there. It is uh, two day, uh, no, a day after Christmas. Today's the 26th and it's randomly 62 degrees in Ohio. <laughs> not complaining, but it is raining. But, you know, a lot of times it's super cold. But, yeah, the Christmas clearance, just make sure it's high-end stuff if you're gonna save it. Don't get the generic lights, like the Big Lots brand names and the Walmart brand names. Um, some of them could be worth money. You just gotta scan and test it. But, I find that the good Christmas clearance, like Bed Bath & Beyond last year really paid off for me. It was my first time going in there. I think it was probably about the second week in January and they had everything like 75% off and they had these stickers that take an additional 50% off that and they're just blowing stuff out and that's what a lot of stores are doing um, a couple weeks after Christmas. Right now it's probably not as good but in a couple weeks the store clearance will be very well. Um, worth looking into. But I just want to make this video. I'm in the process of making a few videos. I thought I'd record it. A lot of people I'm sure know this and can figure it out, but you know, just a few tips. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching. If you enjoyed it, um, thumbs up, subscribe. Makes me happy. This has been Wick. Till next time.